greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, we are now entering almost uh, feeling the feeling of holidays, the feeling of all the anxieties, the joys, the celebrations, and everything to do with what's going on with you what is going on internally are you joyous are you excited are you anxious um allow me to start by reminding you that on december 12th at 3 p.m this coming sunday at 3 p.m i'm having a workshop it's a workshop for you to unleash the best version of you so for 2022 you can project and manifest everything that you want and step into it talk about projection you know I was think, uh, thinking of something I'm uh, talking to a client I realized I think in threes all the time so as we were talking about it if you think of it this way how you speak how you behave, how you project. It's not what other people think of you. It's how we project what we feel and that's how they see us. So as she was explaining about, but this is the way that they see me and this is uh, how they uh, view me as. And then my question was, well, exactly how is it? And she said, the way I project myself, I don't know why they think I am this way. So the word is projection. My question to you, how do you project? Think about it. How do you project yourself? Did you know that project, just like a, a projector, right? That holds all the information, the memory and everything. What you think, what you feel, what you want, the projector being the conscious level looks listens and learns and it stores in there into the subconscious every aspect of what you feel who you are your actions your behavior your personality your habits everything is stored in there so when you project it's as if you are projecting outwards so what you project like a projector that projects on a screen is what people see so the person sitting in the chair looking at the screen can only see what you project make sense if it makes sense just say yes hello viewers i can't see who's here but by all means so that's the projection when you think that people react to you differently, when you shift your attitude, when you shift your um, mindset, you also begin to project the new version of you or what you want to be. Second thing, I was thinking, so there is the projection and the present, the present is what we are presenting. So in a way, it's the presentation we present here we project there and frankly i think anything that you no longer want you can do what reject so today is reject what you no longer want to keep what's not good for you what's not benefiting you what's no longer enhancing you as a matter of fact, even old thoughts, ideas, um, negative behavior, personality that you have created due to your patterns, your behaviors, uh, the things that you do either consciously or unconsciously, you can reject anything that you no longer want. Simply write it down. The end of the year is here. Why not sit with yourself and write 
everything that you would like to manifest in the new you, in the new year. As a matter of fact, on my workshop on December 12th, I keep saying this because I'm so excited. People have already started to sign up and I would love to have you as part of us. Not only we're going to talk about what, how our mind manifests or holds certain things, things that you have been holding that has created you the anxiety or even self-limiting beliefs that you have been holding on to and recognize the things that you no longer want so we can start rejecting it. But I go into detail, into detail. And together in this workshop, we will do that. Not only I will, it will be informative, it will be interactive. And then there will be a part for Q&A that if you have any questions, you can also ask me any questions that you have. Plus, we are going to do a live hypnosis, a mini hypnosis online so that not only you let go of the anxieties and self-limiting beliefs and the fears that you have created, that's another one. Did you know that now that I think about it, fears are mostly what we project and we create into the present. And we forget to reject them. Hmm. How about that? Isn't that a phenomenal? Think about all the things that has created anxiety for you in your life. Or when you feel anxious. When you feel anxious, what is it that you are anxious about? Hi, Seda John. How are you, my dear? It's so good to be in touch with you. And as always, you are one of my biggest supporters. And thank you for being here. So think about it. What is it that it's in your present right now? That if you feel anxious, if you feel a kind of an anxiety, hmm? that most probably you have not been projecting it. When we project, you know how sometimes some people say that person's grace and beauty exudes, right? And it's as if their beautiful personality or angry personality, you walk in and the, the room is dense. You can feel the denseness, the heaviness. Or you can walk in and you feel absolutely so light and joyous. Why? Because that person's persona projects all around them. We're all a ball of energy, right? So who you are, what you think, what you believe, what's flustering in you also comes oozing out of you and energy, this vortex that you carry, not only within you, but it surrounds you. So anywhere you go, it projects outside of you. Negative thoughts, angry thoughts, resenting, re uh, all those thoughts. Believe it or not, when you feel it, you think it, you walk in there, it's a part of you. As a matter of fact, he walks before you do. Now, when someone is light, and that's one of the things I taught her. What if you start projecting being kinder to yourself? And instead of the negative thoughts and ideas and concepts that keep rolling in your mind, and you think you can't stop them, you say, stop. Pause, swallow your saliva, always and always swallow your saliva, and then another thought comes, okay, let it go. Another thought comes, let it go. Reject, reject. If it is negative, reject. Or you can even accept it and say, that's not kind. Another thought comes. Jealousy, resentment, anger, talking behind someone, whatever it is, self-disgust, self-resentment, self-negative talk, 
self-punishment, self-whatever. Stop. That's not kind. And then find something that is kinder. Find a language that is kinder. In order for any one of us to shift where we are, we must make a a change. And a change comes by recognizing it, accepting it, rejecting it, releasing it. Recognize, acknowledge it, validate it, reject it, and then move on. It's so simple. It's like a thought comes, here's a point, breathe in, exhale, let it go. A thought comes, accept, reject, blow away, let it go. So, it's just like four points. Breathe in, exhale, release. Breathe in, release, breathe in, release out. So, four points. And if you can even breathe in four points, it can also help you. Hold, four, three, two, one, exhale. Anywhere you go, when they are doing breath work, when they are doing yoga, teaching you to how to do breath work, it goes in four counts. And then when you get better in four counts, they say do an into an eight count. Breathing into your diaphragm. Four. Hold. Four. Three. Two. One. Exhale. Four counts. So in life, becoming aware, becoming cognizant, becoming more aware of how you think, you feel, you control. See, again, a lot of people say, I don't want to lose control. If I go into hypnosis, will I lose control? No, you become more aware. As a matter of fact, recognizing, validating, accepting, and then rejecting what is no longer benefiting you and saying, I let it go. Being present. And then you project. So in life, we do this so many times. But instead of rejecting who you are, you can start rejecting the negative thoughts, negative ideas that no longer benefit you. That's the key. It no longer benefits you. It no longer enhances where you are in life. We can also reject things that are not good for us. Drugs. Overdoing something. Being under pressure. Feeling as if we are being bullied. Especially nowadays. Our youth are suffering. Under peer pressure. Under expectations. As a, fa as a matter of fact, it's not only our youth that is suffering. But so many of us, as adults, I must have, I must accomplish, I must do, because of. Because of what? What are you projecting that it's not valid, that it's not true, that it's not you? So if you want to project something for other people to see, that is false, then you are projecting something that you're going to resent yourself because it is not you. That's the difference. There is only so much we can cover up. And as I have said it over and over, if we don't tend to our body, our body will break us down in order for us to tend to it. If we do not tend to our heart, our heart will break. 
so that we can tend to it. And the same thing goes to our mind. If we are not enhancing, expanding, opening up to learning, to creating, to manifesting our gifts, our talents, then we are harming ourselves. So in a way, this workshop on December 12th that I will be doing, Unleash the Best Version of You, it is so much of giving you exercise even giving you the calendar I, I'm giving you a free calendar so that you can start writing you can start uh, manifesting you can start letting go you can start being more present with who you are and literally sit and recognize certain patterns certain habits that you can just release release a better word than reject but sometimes reject is so apropos and saying I reject it because I make a commitment. You know, the thing about a commitment, so many people have a hard time with that C word, the commitment, is because if I were to commit everyone thinks, if I make this commitment, I must own up to it and prove to you no it's a commitment to self and most of us fail the commitment to ourselves until we feel as if we need someone to feel accountable to well if I feel accountable to you and then I will stand by and commit to this and I will do it because it was a promise to you as if I don't matter my commitment to myself is not strong enough or good enough because I don't matter but if you were to be next to me that's when I will commit and say I will do so I want you to listen to this if you need to play it, play it over. Why is it that your commitment to you, for a better you, a healthier you, healthier you, when you hear someone says shame, or they put a guilt on you, or you feel as if you are blamed, why is that more important than you honoring you? that inner child of yours because in a way that's your commitment look if you can see your younger version of you and promise I will be kinder I will be kinder not nice not excellent not an expert I will be better I will be healthier I will be kinder my commitment to me my commitment to you see me hold your hand hold my hand remind me of being playfulness remind me of joy remind me of I need to protect Remind me so I can stand by you. Remind me I am you. That, that in itself is who we must remember we are committing to. So every single day when you wake up, That's your commitment to live a healthier life, a fuller life, a healthier being, and being kinder to yourself, and then to other mankind, and then 
to your children, your partner, your parents, your siblings, your pet, you. So if I were to say, today's message is make a commitment to project what you want to manifest in your life, a healthier version of you, and that would be it. And be more present with yourself, with what you want, what you dream, what you hurt about. If there is anyone you can have, raise a helping hand, by all means. A small little pinky just to hold your hand makes a difference. As a matter of fact, just make sure that he or she also is not looking up to you for a hand to hold. That's all. So in my gratitude, I do a daily gratitude now. If you want to join, by all means, you can go. It's, uh, um, it's called a daily gratitude. You can even message me or find it. It's right here on Facebook. It's a group that I started it's a with daily gratitudes every day I post something for a daily gratitude and I hope each and every one also does that yesterday I went to Costco and as I am walking out there this there is this woman sitting playing an accordion and her son was sitting next to her and they had a small little um, um, like a can and people were putting dollars in there as a token of appreciation. She was playing so beautifully. And uh, which was different because I, I was surprised she was playing Besame. Besame, Besame mucho. And it hit home because a very good friend of ours who plays the accordion to bring joy to so many people lost his son and i'm not getting teary eyed for that is just music touches our soul and it reminds us if we only remember the commitment to ourselves and her playing accordion she was projecting music opening your heart opening your soul and with her son sitting next to her she was smiling at him and he's dressed in red in the spirit of the holiday there was so many passing by in their own world they're in Costco they just went and shopped two hundred dollars three hundred dollars they hear it, they see it. So as I approached to put money in there, and it doesn't matter how much I put, that token of appreciation was in memory. Token of appreciation was in gratitude of friendship. That token of appreciation was in gratitude of her gift that token of appreciation was she chose that spot to be so visible with her music and some people it was to some people it was as if she's invisible even though they can hear it they can see it but they're in their world and so many of us are in our world we don't see what's outside even though we are aware we see it we hear it we are living it we see it it doesn't register we hear it it doesn't register until it heads home so today what if you hit home and make a commitment to you. In the spirit of giving, take a moment, write down all the things 
that you are grateful to. As I am grateful to you being here. And if you believe this message was beneficial to you, by all means, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, like it, share it, and thank you. You can always leave a message and let me know what is it that you would like me to speak about. And I hope you can join me and so many on December 12th at 3 p.m. at our workshop. And the information will be posted right here. So I thank you. God bless you. And may the universal light surround you. Until next week. Goodbye. Thank you for being